Now, before we get started, if you could please, 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 please like, subscribe to this channel. Like this, I think, video. Yeah, like the video, subscribe, click the little bell up at the top, and subscribe for more videos and more content, because I would love to have you um, subscribe and join our community over here at Beauty and Balanced. Uh, my name is Alicia, just like I said a few minutes ago, and I'm the owner of Beating and Balanced Jewelry. We make high vibrational jewelry, including waist beads. We also make crystal wire wrap jewelry. We make chakra jewelry. Most of our jewelry are, is beaded or wire wrapped, and we just want to use the jewelry to uplift and emp empower people in our community. So that's what we're here for. And so... Waist beads is a really, really good empowerment tool. It's a really good empowerment jewelry. One, because it sits right on your solar plexus, hence the yellow, um, which is the energy, which is the chakra for confidence. And that's what I feel like waist beads really do. They really uplift you and boost your confidence, especially your body confidence. So... They are beautiful, y'all. Look at my beads. Like, get in here. <laughs> All right, so let's measure. So the first thing you're going to need when you measure is a body. We got that, right? We got a body. Doesn't matter what type of body, what size body. You just need a body. All right, the second thing you're going to need is a measuring tape. This is a 60-inch measuring tape. 60 inches on the inch side and 150 centimeters on the centimeter side. And this is the size that I need because most of the um, people that I've measured um, are about 60 inches or less. <laughs> so um, you want to find the end, which has the one. Sometimes it will have a little metal tab, but my metal tab came off. And then the other end is going to have your 60, one in a 60. So when you're measuring, the first thing you want to know is, you're going to want to know is to where you want your beads to be. So one thing about waist beads, a lot of people are in them for weight loss. And they are really, really, really good tool to help you in losing weight in inches in your body. So when you are using the waist beads as a tool to help you track your weight, whether it's to gain or lose, you want to make sure that you measure at your high waist. And so your high waist is going to be right above your belly button. I always like to say, like, my high waist is up here under my chest. I'm about 240 pounds. So my belly button is here, as you can see. So even it's above your belt for me as a plus size woman above my belly button is still not going to be quite where I'm going to need it at. I'm going to need mine up here, up under here <laughs> because I want to lose my weight to start dropping here and then go down. And I feel like that if I tie it right here above my belly button is not going to give me um, the tight or comfortable fit that I want as far as for losing weight. I want it to fit tight like up here. This is where I want my waist beat to fit. <laughs> And so as you can tell, this one is my lowest hanging um, waist bead. All right, so you wanna measure at your high waist. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna measure at our high waist. So I have my one and I'm gonna just take the measuring tape and make sure it's on the inches side. The inch is showing on the inches side, as you can see. And then zoom in a little bit. Well, let me zoom. So now that I have it wrapped around my waist, I'm gonna find my one, which is here. And I'm going to put it up here where I want my beads exactly where I want them to be. So I got my one here. And then I have. I'm going to cross it over. And where it meets is your measurement. So here's my one. It's going to meet here at a 41.5 at my high waist. So my high waist is going to be... <laughs> 41.5. I ain't really like it that number, but it's all good. Personally, for myself. Um, 
I just have my own personal goals, but 41.5 for my high waist. So this is the measurement up here, right up under my breast for a plus size woman. I want it all the way up here because for weight loss, I want my beads to drop as I lose weight. So I want them as high as possible, not too high under here because you don't want them to sit up under your breast either. You want them to sit on your waist. So 41.5 for me, 41.5 also is not a tight, tight, like if I get it tight, it'll be 40. So I don't want a tight, tight measurement because I want enough room to breathe. So I'm gonna give myself about a half an inch and do 40 point size. So like I said, 41.5. So yeah, okay, yeah, 41, 41.5 right here. And plus size addition, ladies. Also remember about the rolls you have here in the back. So when you're measuring, Make sure that you make sure that it's nothing is everything is straight and that nothing is kind of stuck up in the your rolls. <laughs> I got rolls, y'all. I'm telling y'all, don't do it. Make sure that you kind of straighten everything out. Make sure nothing is up in there when so you can get an accurate high waist measurement. Okay, so that is your high waist. That's the waist size that you want, especially when you are wanting to track your weight and when you are a waist beat beginner. Try to get it at your high waist so that you can get used to wearing it it's sitting on your waist when it's down a little lower and you're not used to it's easier for them to pop or break especially when you're pulling your pants up and down when you're moving and grooving throughout the day your hands in your pockets it's just certain things that when they're lower that you may not be aware that you do more so i always just suggest to get a high waist measurement now you can get a middle I think it's called a middle. I'm gonna put a, I have a paper. It's on all the listings on my website. It's like your high waist. It's not your belly button waist, but it's like your medium waist and then your lower hip or your hip waist. So when you want a little lower and you want them to sit just like these are sitting just a little bit lower, then you can definitely get a lower measurement. If you do it the same way, what I just suggest is that you make sure that you don't, um, that you get it to where it's not going to be too big because what you don't want is it to be where it's falling off. So a lot of times when people when they get measurements, they measure like right here around our little fat. Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm showing my fat. But I, let me tell y'all what waist beads have done. My body confidence is at 10,000 and I love my rolls. I love my fat and I just really love my body and I really don't care because um, I feel like somebody's loving it. But like six or seven years ago, I would have never been on video, making none of these videos, showing my body like this. But my confidence has definitely went through the roof because of these waist beads. So when you're measuring for your lower waist or your hip, one thing that I suggest is that you, you, you want to use your rolls for this one because if they are too big when you measure and you tie then they'll fall right off of you. So if you tie like right here, I, I hope this is this is kind of confusing, but I'm, hopefully somebody will get it. If you tie here and you don't get it to like sit right up in your little joint, like right up in here, then and you just then they may fall. So just make sure that you measure, thinking about that your beads are going to kind of be stuck up in your in this little back fat part. <laughs> then that's kind of like what's going to hold your beads up. If you're a smaller physique um, person, you don't need that. You can kind of just get them to tie. You don't you don't have all this extra. So you can, it's just like tying up here. But when you have a little extra here, then you want to kind of use this back, your booty and your little back fat to kind of make sure the whole beads in place <laughs> so that they don't fall. So you can wear them a little lower. So as you can see, this is my lower hanging one. And even sitting here, it fits good, but it's still stretch cord, so it's gonna kind of roll up. But here, if I walk, it's either gonna go up or it's gonna fall down. But if I kind of set it right up in my little back part, you know, it gets a better thing. Now, if you wanna wear it lower on your hips for a plus size addition, then what I would use is, I'll show you some beads I have. I'm gonna show you a way you can do that. So when you wanna measure for your lower hips, you can do that too, but you have to make sure that it's not they're not gonna fall off. So you wanna kind of, 
I suggest is to not get one made with stretchy cord. You get one made on regular string and get it custom made like with a clasp or an adjustable chain so you can kind of get the fit you want because our body fluctuates, especially in this area. So if you get an adjustable chain with maybe three to five extra inches, you can adjust as you need based on how you want your beads to fit. So you can do, I would suggest an adjustable chain. If you go to my website at beadsandbalance.com or if you go on Etsy at Beaded and Balanced and find our Etsy shop, you can request custom orders. You can also message me and our email at info at beadsandbalance.com and I can get you custom orders and add adjustable chain. There is a couple waist beads on our website that already have the adjustable chain option and that is our black onyx and tiger's out waist bead but anything else if you see you can, i can add an adjustable chain to any design you just have to message me and let me know which one you want me to add and it'll just be a couple extra dollars for me to add it so um measuring i hope this helped you measuring for your lower waist um, it's pretty much the same thing, except that you just want to be mindful of that it may fall. And so I suggest that you kind of use your little pouch and measure under the pouch versus over top of the pouch. So when you want those lower hanging beads in your plus size like me, I suggest that you measure. You just kind of set it right up on, at, at your bum or your butt. And then you bring the measurement in under here. I don't even know how we're going to do this, but this is what we got to do. Okay. So under here, if I want some hip beads, and I don't want my this to be in the way of how they fit, I'm going to kind of measure under, almost like if I was pregnant. <laughs> I would measure under my pregnant belly or under my fupa to get them more accurate. So then your beads may can hang off your bum a little bit and under your fupa. And then they'll kind of you use your bum or your butt to let the beads hang on your hip, if that makes sense. So this is a plus size addition to how you can measure your waist beads um, for accuracy so that when you get them, that they're fit and you'll have a really positive experience. You don't have to re-gift them, send them back, break them, trying to get them tied. Like I want your experience with being in balance to be a really positive experience. So I wanted to just give you a little heads up on how you can measure. If you have any questions, this helped you. If it didn't help and you're like, girl, you know what you're talking about, let me know in the comments. I wanna know, I want some feedback. If this really helped you, I hope that it did. Go head on over to Beauty and Balance, measure your waist, and order some crystal waist beads from us. So peace, love, and balance. My name is Alicia. Don't forget to like and subscribe for this channel for more videos. Love y'all. Bye.